Good afternoon, parents. This is the assessment report that I'm sending home today. Uh, this shows you what level your student's currently at. For example, the student is at a master's level. It shows you um, right here at the top of the screen as well as here on this level, um, on the scale. Now essentially, a master's would be an A, meets would be a B, approaches would be a C, orange would be a D, and an F would be critical. Um, so in this case, if a student is critical or did not meet, we will be I will be working with parents in order to make sure that that student is meeting the goals um, that are set before us. So below our standards for which um, the student did show mastery on this assessment, it shows you exactly what he worked on, and it will also tell you how many questions um, like the, the student got right and you'll be able to see their mastery in this sense so for example read write and represent whole numbers from 0 to 20 from 0 to at least 20 with and without objects or pictures the student got 11 out of 11 right so this percentage was a hundred percent counts a set of objects up to at least 20 and demonstrated the last number said tells the number of objects in the set regardless of their arrangement arrangement or order 19 out of 19 right and that was a hundred percent so in this case um, what this means in this particular area is that the student was able to count up to 20 and also was able to tell the number and also know how many there were in each, uh, regardless of the arrangement. So it could have been a scatter, it could have been a circle, it could have been an array, it could have been a row, a column. The next one, recognize instantly the quantity of a small group of objects and organize in random arrangements. 12 out of 12, that's 100%. Um, each one tells you exactly how many this the student got right. So this is, for example, this is what is he has mastered. As you can see, this student got them all right, so he mastered every single question. Now on the second page, it shows, it would show the standards for which the student did not show mastery. So on, um, some of the on some of the reports or the assessments there will be um, information here that will show what was not mastered now the section right here just shows um, how many points uh, they received in each area so for example for question one uh, there were seven uh, points available for question one and that's why they got us and he got a seven there were six questions for question two he got six right uh, out of six four out of four four out of four and eight out of eight so this student in particular got every single question right so this person got a hundred percent on this test now just to give you an example of what might it may look like if um, it is not a hundred percent um, this student for example is also in a master's level but this person did not um, meet every single question. So for example, they're still in a master's level, they still got, it, they still got an A, um, but for, for example, this student may have not been able to count up to 20 for a specific number or tell what the number of objects was correctly. So 17 out of 19, they got 89%. Um, in this case, 83%. So this shows what she did master, and it doesn't show, she mastered everything so there was nothing under did not master. Um, for example, this student that has, um, this student that did not meet, that would be considered like um, a D. And so this student, it'll show, for example, what they did show mastery. So six out of 11 were correct, so they did show mastery in this way by having 54%, 54%, four out of four correct, that showed 100% just in that. But then it would also show where the student did not show mastery. So for example, counting up to 20, and that's eight out of 19, and that was only 42% were correct. Um, recognizing the quantity of small group objects, and it actually tells you exactly what it is that the student did not master and what they need to work on. Um, I would like for you guys to sign this, to review it, sign it, and return it to me so that I can know that you took a look at it, that you reviewed it. I can also give you a copy of this, so it, when you send it back, if you want to write a note on the bottom right below the signature that you would like a copy, I'd be more than happy to provide one for you. If you have any specific questions regarding this, you can send me a message, or we can also so set up um, a conference, especially if your child is in uh, one of the more critical levels. So for example, if your student is in um, did not meet or critical, we definitely do need to set up an appointment, um, a, a conference so we can talk about what we can do to uh, fix this. Um, and you can also reach out to me if you if the, your child is at approaches because it may be at, at the lower end of this. We want to make sure that they're more towards the meets or masters area. 
Um, now, so that is it for this particular form. And I just wanted to show you how it is that you can take a look at, how you can decipher what these are saying. If you need more information regarding what these mean, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you and have a nice day.